Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Fruit Harvest. Come on, everyone. Let's get a move on. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Where are you all going? It's Harvest Day. Can we come too? Hop aboard. <laughs> Today's the day we pick all our fruit on the farm. To make fruit pies. Then tonight we have a harvest dance. I love dancing. Me too. Morning, all. Morning, wise old elf. It's harvest time. Hooray! To the strawberry patch, everyone. It's been a good year for strawberries. Yes, we've grown loads of them. Here we are, the strawberry patch. Oh, but where are all the strawberries? They're gone, all eaten. But that's crazy. Incredible. There were lots of strawberries here yesterday. What could have eaten them? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. There's still the apples. To the orchard, Mr Elf. Here we are, the apple orchard. Right, pick the apples. But there are no apples. What? It's impossible. There were loads of apples here yesterday. Something very odd is going on. No strawberries, no apples. What's eating them all? It could be locusts. Yes, stories tell of insects called locusts who arrive in their millions, swarming all over the fruit and eat it all up in seconds. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, eat. thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. But locusts don't wear size 10 shoes. <gasps> what is it? It's a footprint. Our fruit hasn't been eaten by a swarm of locusts. This is the work of a swarm of gnomes. <gasps> gnomes! Wise old elf, how many gnomes does it take to make a swarm? Just the one. Gnomes have a huge appetite. They can't stop themselves eating. If they see food, they eat it. That's right. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, and... yes, Mrs Elf. So, does it mean there'll be no fruit harvest and no dancing? Yes. No, because there's always blackberries. They grow in the wild. Mmm, blackberries. But we have to get to the blackberries before the gnome does. <laughs> How do you stop a gnome from eating everything? Well, they used to say, to scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. Yes, we tried that once. What happened? He ate the orange. Yes, gnomes like all fruit. The only thing they like more than fruit is pie. Here we are. The blackberries are still here. Thank God. Goodness! No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on! Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. Mmm, delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. I can't help it. Sorry. He's really good at picking blackberries. Yes. The thorns don't bother me. I have a thick skin. Why don't we ask the gnome if he'll pick blackberries for us? Clever Holly! Then we can still have our harvest. And our harvest dance. Harvest dance? Oh, I like dancing. Can I come? No! I'll take that as a yes. What time does it start? Mr Gnome, 
time, you can come to the dance if you pick some blackberries for us. It's a deal. We'd like this truck filled up with blackberries. Thank you. No problem. One blackberry coming up. Oh, it's a nice one. <coughs> Delicious. Not in your mouth, in the truck. Oh, yes. Sorry. Don't worry. This time I'll... Oh, a blackberry. Yum, yum. <coughs> no, 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 no. This isn't going to work if you keep eating them. Whoops-a-daisy. I do apologise. This time I'll make sure I... Oh, a blackberry. <coughs> Sorry. I ate it again. Ah, oh, this is useless. Every time he has food in his hand, he just eats it. That's just what gnomes do. They eat and eat and eat and right. eat it's and eat Right, it's time for Plan B. What's Plan B? You'll see. I'll be back in a moment. Mr Elf, do you know what Plan B is? No, but if it's the wise old elf who's come up with it, it's bound to be very clever. Or very stupid. Ta-da! As you see, I am dressed as a pie. Why are you dressed as a pie? Gnomes love pie more than anything in the world. So, every time Mr Gnome is about to eat a blackberry, I will run in front of him dressed as a pie. Won't that be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why it's plan B. This time, I promise I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Silly me, I did it again. Focus, Mr Gnome. Right, this is it. No more. Oh, a blackberry. Hey there, Mr Gnome. Look over here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh, sorry. Thought I saw a pie. Never mind. Here's a lovely blackberry for me. Hey, wouldn't you rather eat a pie? Ooh, yes, I would. Delicious pie. Ah! <laughs> Wait, don't eat me. Ooh, a talking pie. That'll be tasty. I'm not a pie. I'm not a pie. Not a pie? What are you, then? I'm the wise old elf. Oh, what are you doing here? Let's put you down again. Oh, look, a blackberry. Oh, here we go again. Hey there, Mr Gnome. Look down here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh. This is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. Aww. Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The gnome? Oh, no. What about the apples? The gnome ate them, too. Well, I'd like to give this gnome a talking to. You can if you like. He's here. Hello. Yeah. What's he doing here? He helped pick the blackberries for us. So we invited him to the dance. Oh. He ate 2,000 blackberries. But we got ten for us. Uh, nine. I ate one on the way here. Sorry. Anyway, there's still enough for a big pie. Excellent! Then let the harvest dance commence. Hooray! This is a bit boring. <gasps> Let's get this party started. Take your partners, please. Swing to the left. Step to the right. Wiggle your hips. Spin around and get a big ditty. <laughs> Blackberry pie, everybody! Hooray! It's traditional that the first slice of pie goes to the person who picked the most fruit. Oh, who's that then? That's you. Oh, thank you very much. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Morning, noon and night. Seven o'clock. Time to get up. Ben, breakfast ready. Thanks, Dad. Right, Ben, let's get your hair brushed. Let's get your elf hat on. Don't forget your new watch. There. Now you're ready for school. But, Mum, elf school doesn't start for ages. Can I go and see Holly? I want to show her my new watch. OK. But make sure you get to school on time. Of course I will. Elves are never late. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Phew, Mr Elf. Mornings are such hard work. I should say so. <sighs> That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? Mm. Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. <laughs> <sighs> And here's your crown. All done. Whoopa. Mornings are such hard work. <sighs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes, you can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes, well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> Two, three. It took three puffs. That means three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to tell the time properly. Can I go to his lesson? Oh, all right. But I'm sure it won't be much fun. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, uh, good day, Nanny Plum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Righty-o. Hmm. Now, uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see, we fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm. I'm sure you do. Now... How do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cockerel cries. Cock-a-doodle-doo! 
Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Can I have a go? <gasps> Two. And me. <gasps> Three. That means three o'clock. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now? It's noon. Ah, yes, Holly. Well done. Wow. How did you know that? Because the sun is high up in the sky. And I know it's lunchtime because my tummy is rumbling. <laughs> How silly. Excuse me. My tummy is never wrong. Oh, it is lunchtime. School is finished for today. Hooray! Polly, would you like to come over to play this afternoon? Yes. OK. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> hmm, it's almost six o'clock. Where's Holly? Hi, Ben. You're late. Fairies are always late, and I'm a fairy. <laughs> Hurry up, I've got something to show you. What's that noise? You'll see. <sighs> Are we there yet? <sighs> Nearly. This way. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow. The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, dum dum di da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. And the beautiful princess lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Holly. But, Daddy, the owl hasn't hooted yet. There's the owl now. And the fierce dragon ate the witch. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Ben. But, Mum, the clock hasn't chimed yet. Ah, oh, it's chiming now. Good night, Holly. Good night, Ben.